Hello everyone, Tuple here, and welcome to the second round of the MPL. Uh, if you haven't seen the last week, go check that out. We did win that, um, but we're still up against a lot of really scary people. Um, Jump is up next, and I've, I, I've known that name since I was on Amino. Uh, I used to do like little tournaments on Amino, but way back. And Chomp was always a name, I believe, that came up. Safe to say, I'm very intimidated. Uh, yeah, also has a pretty scary theme of Gurum, Primarina, Primarina is a threat, I know that. Jamin, Fortress, Rhyperior, Eriados, Mega Glade, Zapdos, Zoroark, Arcanine, and Sylvelli. Uh, Sylvelli is also a problem because it can, of course, um, it can outspeed. Uh, no, no, it can't outspeed. It it can be any type that it wants. Is the thing. It it's like it's a hard matchup, but definitely a doable matchup. The one thing I'm really worried about is that Zapdos. Zapdos is hard for me to deal with, especially since it will likely have HP Ice for Zorark, who for the second time in a row I didn't bring. Um, yeah, I, I, Zygarde is pretty good for Zoom, but he does have Curum, Primarina, Shaman, and the Zapdos, who, all, who are all pretty big threats. Um, however, just Zygarde existing forces a lot of like interactions. Um, for instance, Arcanine has access to Dragon Pulse, I know this. It'll likely run it if it comes, because it hits... Um, it hits Vulcanion and Zygarde better. Uh, and I like I I really try to build off that pressure that Zygarde brings. Um, not to mention the pressure that Beetle uh, brings. Because he has to run Scarf Kyarm. There is literally no other option. He has to or he dies. So I'm counting on that. Also means he's gonna be way less strong. Um, I have this team. The end game here is gonna be Comfey. Gumfei is gonna in the end click Calm Mind and then sweep. Um, the only real problems to that are um, the Fortress, the um, Arcanine to an extent. I did bring store power for it, but it's still gonna be annoying. Uh, Zapdos can paralyze me and uh, let's see what else. I think those three are the biggest problems to my team. Um, I can't really hit steel types well, especially the steel bug type. Uh, so this is gonna have to come down to me weakening those. I did put a whole lot of like things to specifically outspeed. For instance, Comfe. Um, I have Combine Training, Kiss, Giga Train, Stored Power. Stored Power is nice for the Arcanine. Um, however, I put 44 speed on it, and it doesn't specifically outspeed anything, but. I know that defensive Zapdos sometimes run 40 speed and by running 44 I will always almost always outspeed defensive Zapdos which means I will always go first with my store power or my calm mind so that's potentially really good it's it's a pretty standard set with three outs life orb very like solid um Wario where <laughs> because beware is here with a very like interesting set. I figured out with a lot of calcs that um, after a rock slide, after a rock slide, I always outspeed max speed Zapdos by one point. So, uh, sorry, not rock slide, rock tomb. I have rock tomb here. Rock tomb hits Kyurm, hits Zapdos, hits, hits Arcanine. Uh, those last two are the ones that likely want to come in on me. Um, the other option to come in on this is Silvelli Ghost. I'm expecting him to bring Silvelli Ghost because it uh, deals specifically with Beware. Um, and Rock Tomb also hits that, which is very nice. I did also bring Toxic in the case of um, Weakness Policy Right Barrier, actually. Um, I will al always outspeed it. And with Toxic, I can prevent uh, triggering a weakness policy while he like rock polishes up. 
so I can prevent a sweep happening, which is very nice. Um, but beyond that, like return drain punch, very strong stab, choice bend, max attack element, insane. Fluffy also very very good versus that um, that Galate because I'm pretty sure nothing can one shot me, even like a close combat. Maybe actually a psycho cut because it doesn't make contact, but I'm not sure on that because it is also weaker. So yeah, this is just a very good like tank slash pressure tool. I basically I want to put as much pressure on the Zapdos and the Arcanine. If those two are out of the picture, um, I can basically sweep with Comfey. So I have Steam Dragons, my Vulcanian, who is an AV Vulcanian, specifically to counter Curum. I believe Draco Meteor from like a Scarf Curum does like. 40 to 50 percent to this not a ton so it's a very good switch in today um ice beam of course does nothing to this flash cannon does nothing to this so it has a hard time hitting this like draco meteor is his best way to hit this earth power also kind of but it only does like 30 ish so av volcanion is really good it's max hp max pedaf it doesn't need any special attack because, again, pressure is insane here. Um, 84 speed makes sure I outspeed max speed base 40 mons, which he has the Ariados, the Fortress, and the Barbarian. I outspeed all three of those, which is the big thing here because I can um, basically one shot all of them. So by outspeeding that, I can prevent rocks or webs or anything like that. So that's really good. Um, Beedrill. Beedrill is just always a good one. It's so fast. It forces so many scarves and speed buffs and stuff like that. Um, and then I have Poison Jab U-Turn, of course. Drillwind to hit the Rock Barrier. Um, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does enough that I can potentially knock it out. Same with um, Arcanine, actually. And Toxic. If I know he's gonna go Zapdos, I can Toxic it. And just, like, be an annoyance. And that's gonna be really useful. And, like, Toxic in general, I, if I can chip his team down, that's gonna be the big thing here. If I can chip his team down, I can then click buttons with Confei. Or, actually, the next mon who is Choice Scarf Decidueye, um, who I have set to outspeed Scarf Primarina. Um, it, it's basically here to just end game, click Poltergeist and kill everything, um, since neither Sylvelli, Ghost or um, or Galate are allowed to hold like a Scarf. Uh, I can outspeed both of those and Poltergeist knocks out both of them does like 60 to 70 to Zapdos actually it, it like it, it does so much damage if it's a defensive it does like 40 which is still like a good amount of damage um, and Poltergeist is just like can either clean up or break enough for the Confei sweep which is great I also have Leaf Blade for a potential like Calm Mind I don't think he's gonna bring Calm Mind because Combined Primarina because I do have the uh, Volcanion. But if he is combined and I break the sub, I can leave play that and kill it. So that's really good. Spirit Shackle is just for if Poltergeist runs out and then I have U turn. So that's really, really good. And yeah, this is just like these two side by side are gonna be insane. And then Corviknight. I don't want webs up. If webs go up, that's a big problem. Same with like toxic spikes or um, rocks or anything like that. Um, so Corviknight is here. Again, it has enough speed to outspeed those base 40s. Um, and I can defog and body press. Body press is actually like nice versus the right barrier. This means I can... Like I know from experience. That's also why I didn't bring Zygarde. I know because of one of my videos that right barrier gets a blizzard and ice beam <laughs> and also flamethrower and thunderbolt so <laughs> i'm kind of scared of that uh body press does really well here and just deals a lot of damage uh, he can't go zapdos on this 
but I, if I U-turn out on that, I can bring in like um, the CGI or uh, WarriorWare, a uh, BearWare, and click a button. So, really useful. Good defensive pivot versus a lot of his team. So it's just very useful in general. And it's gonna be a very interesting match. It's gonna be like who breaks who first, basically. If I break him first, I get to click buttons with Kumpay. If he breaks me first, his Zepdus runs wild, basically. So I guess we'll have to see the outcome in the battle. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Alright. Oh god. He brought four trust, which is kind of a surprise. Comfy goes in versus him, depending on what that Valley is. Uh, hold on, let me actually grab his team real quick to see what he didn't bring. My Covenite does outspeed his Fortress. However, so does my Volcanian. Oh, he didn't bring the Riparia, I just remembered. Like, even without seeing his name, yeah, no uh, Riparia, no Ariados. He does have Hazard Spam. I feel like Lead Volcanian is actually pretty free here. Uh, I did expect a Zepto switch. Uh, hold up, I actually, because I have my mons pulled up. Um, Volcanian from a worst case scenario Zapdos. Uh, offensive Rain Sweeper, a Thunder does 52 to 62. Meanwhile, I do 50 to 59. I feel like I need to preserve this, but. Also damage. Don't... I can't say that I understand. Okay, that did 12.8 and in turn I did 49%. Great start. Uh, do I risk it? This has to be Scarf. Uh, it likely has Freeze Die. Oh, hold up. Here, um... Oh, 1v1 choice Scarf. Let's make this Freeze Dry. Okay, Draco does 34 to 41, Freestyle does 19 to 22. He can't do much damage to me. And Flamethrower is almost a two hit KO, so. Yeah, we eat those. Hold up, no, 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 no. Um, I am gonna actually switch to... Uh, what is he gonna click here? Likely electric coverage. Hold up, I need to calc this. What? <laughs> I am confusion. Uh, okay, um... Volcanian versus... <laughs> I am very confused. Thunder does kill, however, if I go my... This is UI. Um, Thunder does barely any damage. If he hurricanes here, that's a good play. Poltergeist kills in revenge, though. So I'm gonna go to Sijuai. Okay. Click Poltergeist for free, I guess. Uh-huh. 
we eat those. Rock to here. So very grass. Hello. Thunderbolt. We take that down, which is good. Pottergeist is looking really nice here. He's like he's gonna just click CC. Knock off, okay. Smart. Um, Pottergeist does still just kill. And also I think Fortress is close to range now. Hold up. I didn't make it to outspeed the Sidui. Um, however, Mega U turn. Uh huh. I'm in a very good position, though. Just gonna discharge here. I'm just gonna rock tomb. I don't know if he has hurricane. He should have hurricane. No, we eat those. Nice. Uh huh. And we click Rock Tomb again. It's fine here. Uh, I don't know if Glade. Oh. That's a one. That's not a two, but that's a two. I did get parrot, but it doesn't matter. Come on, don't do this to me.
And yeah, we do get it here. <laughs> Everybody's throwing. I knew Comfey was gonna be good here. Comfey, like, the thing is, he let me get that Fortress, which was the big deal here. Fortress was basically the only one that could stop Comfey. I knew Akiram wouldn't be able to um, knock it out because it's Scarf. It has to be Scarf to have speed, speed drill. And. Like, he had to bank of Paras here, he got lucky with the first turn. But also I had Calm Mind and I would just keep getting bulkier and bulkier. So... Yeah, Comfey did it again. Also, Rock Tomb Beware would have been so good there. Although, to be fair, I would have clicked Draining Kiss immediately and wouldn't have the Calm Mind up, which could have been a problem. Uh... So either way, like Beware was actually like very pressuring. I'm surprised he brought so valley grass. I gotta ask him why he brought so valley grass. Because I don't get it. Also, I'm stu actually stupid for this situi. So <laughs> But yeah, that was still a pretty solid game. I the thing is this was a pressure game. I had to like pressure him. I'm surprised he didn't bring the Arcanine. Arcanine was really scary against me. But I had to pressure him to a point where Comfey could sweep. So yeah. That went pretty well. So I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.